Nearly a week after a tornado made its way through central Arkansas, recovery efforts continue. Thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Roley Hoyt. Our team's going to bring you a closer look today at how cities are clearing debris and getting back on their feet. Our Brooke Buckner's in Little Rock for us tonight. Angela Garza is in Jacksonville, where Senator Bozeman was today surveying the damage. What are things looking like over there tonight? Well, Roly Faith, I will tell you this, there has been such a huge difference here in the city of Jacksonville. The community working tirelessly to get power back up, clean debris off of the roads, and just help each other out. Now, city leaders here plan to continue assessing the damage and taking a look to see where help is needed as they continue that rebuilding process. We're actually in a really good spot considering all things that have happened here. Progress in Jacksonville as the city continues recovering after Friday's tornado. There may be some debris on the sides, but all the roads are open, which is a great thing. Power wise, all but two streets have power, and those are both actually controlled power outages while they're finishing up some work. Mayor Jeff Elmore says while the city is getting back on their feet, some things are completely gone. Several businesses and a big heart of the city do pre park. The ball fields and the rest of the park, major damage, uh, light poles down, uh, concession stands, roofs gone. Uh, the typical damage that you see everywhere else in town is also there. U.S. Senator John Bozeman getting a first look at the damage on Thursday. You can see a picture of the devastation, but uh, you just don't realize the extent of the damage. Although days have passed, Mayor Elmore says seeing the damage has been difficult, but there has been a shift. Seeing what our people have done totally changes perspective. It goes from, you know, uh, being pessimistic and gloom to just pure optimism and looking at where we're headed. Bozeman praising the efforts of this community and his office is hoping to help where they can. Coordinating with the nonprofits, uh, just making sure that things are running smoothly, answering any questions or if we can't answer them, tracking down the answers. And as state leaders do their best, neighbors of Jacksonville are also lending a helping hand. Jacksonville High School baseball team lost uh, use of their field, so uh, some other districts around have stepped up and said, hey, y'all can come play games at our place. So uh, we're making do. Cabot High School is actually hosting Jacksonville's baseball team tonight so that they can continue having a normal season. And the mayor tells me that brings him so much comfort, not just as the mayor of this city, but as a parent. Now, as for Dupree Park, they're actually planning on upgrading it and just making it more accessible for all of our Kansans. And the mayor says, although this has been so difficult, they know that they are strong and they're stronger together. And they're just looking forward as they continue rebuilding in the city of Jacksonville. For now, reporting live in Jacksonville, Julissa Garza, THV 11 News.